We are concerned about uh, m many of the uh, issues and the approach to uh, the assassination that uh, Mr. Sides has taken in his uh, in his book, and believe that there are um, many areas of uh, that need to be explored. In his absence, um, Mr. Garrison and I have decided to uh, go forward with a, a, a series of comments and and questions with respect to uh, Mr. Sides' work, even though he is not here. Just so those comments and uh, questions and criticisms can be made a part of a public record. Otherwise, if he continues to avoid sitting down at this table with us, uh, the public in general will not have critical questions answered. Now when he talks about James's uh, time in Los Angeles, which he moves to also at an early, uh, 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 an early point in the book, uh, Mr. Sides is unable to explain where James got the money to survive. Uh, he speculates, and one of the problems that we have with uh, this, this uh, author and his work is that he speculates a great deal. He even puts words in James's mouth, uh, as though he's, he's writing a work of fiction, but giving it historical uh, significance. And one of the disturbing things about this book, uh, which is really more fiction than nonfiction, is that um, he did not make any effort to interview witnesses who had vital information. And he had the list of them all because, uh, as Mr. Garrison uh, will recall, there was a trial in Memphis, a civil trial in Memphis, and over 70 witnesses appeared over a 30-day period and laid out all of the facts related to the assassination. That, that event, that trial, uh, though blocked by mainstream media, media in terms of public awareness uh, nevertheless has been put together in, in a book called The Thirteenth Juror. The entire transcript is there. That was readily available uh, uh, to Mr. Sides uh, had he uh, been interested in learning about these things. I really believe that in the interest of history and in the other steps that might be taken by the King family uh, in uh, aiding them in accordance with the Tennessee Rules of Procedure, uh, that uh, Mr. Sides' testimony is very imperative. Uh, he has made many misleading statements in his book. Solomon Jones, Dr. J King's driver, saw a man coming down over the wall and running up uh, Mulberry Street. These are all witnesses that were totally ignored by uh, author Sides. This material has not uh, surfaced yet. It's to be part of the, my third and final work on this case um, called The Prayer List. It'll, it's a trilogy and this will be the last book. And this, is, this is, draws a line under the case as far as I'm concerned. There have been a number of, um, uh, of authors who have put out um, uh, books that uh, support the official story on this case. Uh, I don't need to go, uh, go down the list. Mr. Sides is only the latest. And in many ways, uh, Mr. Sides' work is um, far more insidious, sinister than the others, because at least in terms of the other authors, including uh, Gerald Posner, who's now been uh, um, pretty much blacklisted because of, uh, of uh, plagiarism charges against him, um, but even, uh, even Posner uh, attempted to do uh, an investigation to lay some kind of factual foundation for a position, however difficult it was, and tried to lay a foundation for it. Um, this is not the, the, the place to go through all of the, uh, the trial. That's covered in the 13th juror. It's also not the place to go through all of the new evidence that has now uh, come to us. Um, but it is it, it, this unilateral uh, uh, discussion, uh, effectively without Mr. Sides, um, was for the purpose of trying to clear up and point out some of the shortcomings of his work, and to ask the question: How can an author, a, a, a respectable author, behave like this? 
how can a reputable literary figure put out such a work that effectively uh, defames uh, Martin Luther King Jr. and how he died and also James Earl Ray who is not here uh, to defend himself in any way uh, with a, uh, against a series of allegations that have not been properly investigated. And Mr. Sides, by ignoring them and putting out this fictional account of uh, the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., um, has uh, acted in a most reprehensible, indeed uh, despicable way. Uh, Mr. Garrison, do you want to add anything to... Well, I really cannot think of anything else uh, at the moment that would be uh, of any benefit, Dr. Pepper, other than the fact that, uh, as you have pointed out, Mr. Sides has uh, many misleading statements in his book, uh, and they are not confirmed by any uh, witness. My understanding, of, of, and I, I have not interviewed Mr. Sides, but that he depended upon many records and notes in coming to the conclusions that he uh, has come to in this book. Uh, and of course, uh, many of those are misleading and uh, are, are not true. Uh, I, I think certainly the King family in the interest of uh, justice is certainly entitled uh, to take his deposition for purposes of setting history straight as to whether or not they uh, this book has facts that are believable uh, and uh, I believe under the rules of the Tennessee Civil Procedure that uh, we should be permitted to take his deposition. Well, we wish he had been here today uh, to answer the many questions that we've raised and we welcome the possibility of him showing up at some point in the future and dealing with all of these uh, inconsistencies and omissions. But I think it's very important to, to point out that Hampton Sides is just one part of a total disinformation campaign that has been waged with respect to this case uh, over the, the really the last 40 three years. He doesn't stand alone. There are other writers who do this. There are journalists who do this. There are reporters, as Mr. Garrison knows and remember, who will walk out of the, uh, the, the trial room when evidence is being told that is inconvenient for them and their editors to publish. They won't publish it. Uh, some of those reporters, and some of them are leading anchors, have said to me, Bill, it's not worth my job to probe this. And it really does come down to this. Even as late as last night, on the 3rd of uh, April 2011, CNN aired again a false, a fictitious, uh, irresponsible documentary produced by Soledad, uh, well, narrated by Soledad O'Brien. Um, and they have been put on notice by us time again of all of the omissions, all of the inaccuracies, and yet they still go forward with this program that misinforms, disinforms the American uh, uh, people about this case. It's, it's, a, it's a pattern the American people have to become aware of because it not only will it affect, does it affect this case, but it's going to affect any case in which governmental uh, in, involvement uh, takes place. As Mr. Garrison remembers, it took a jury 59 minutes hearing evidence and reviewing evidence from witnesses and documents 59 minutes to exonerate, effectively exonerate James Earl Ray and to find agents of the government of the United States, the state of Tennessee, and the city of Memphis responsible for the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. So I think um, we'll, we'll close on that note. Look forward to seeing Mr. Sides at another time.